welcome to Christmas with Dr. Snowflake. We have a big picture window that we have some snowflakes in already, but these will be much better than the ones we have at home. To the point. Make a lot of them. Leg. Make a lot of them. Uh, and you're bound to get a few that are really good. I made Christmas trees, I made a snowman, and I tried to do a scarf, thinking it's going to come out one side and it came out both and it looks like a big mustache. This is really a lot of fun. Chisel, wood chisel, and it's very nice for making eyes. One that was supposed to turn out like a snowflake or like a snowman turned out with little aliens in the middle. <laughs> and we're home free. All we have to do is cut out the rest on this side. In 1984, Dr. Thomas Clark first learned how to make paper snowflakes from a secretary at the University of Michigan Health Service. Being interested in artwork, uh, I noticed the paper snowflakes that she put up uh, in the holiday season and uh, inquired and uh, actually this secretary learned how to fold the paper to make paper snowflakes from a patient uh, in the waiting room and uh, I made a few paper snowflakes and um, then I got the idea of making a Christmas tree going up each of the points and that was my first snowflake with a picture in it. I think that the very first one that I made, the Christmas tree, is, is a natural, and it, it's, it's hard to beat. Since then, he's developed paper snowflakes into an art form, telling stories through his work. Many know him now as Dr. Snowflake. Christmas tree once you have the basic Christmas trees. I like the, uh, the intricacy of them, how much detail uh, one can get into them once one has a little more experience. <laughs> Basically, that's what my snowflakes are all about. Uh, pictures in the cutting. I still have to make the snowflake and open it up to see what it's gonna look like. So come along with Dr. Snowflake. Enjoy the beauty of his snowflakes and have fun learning how to make snowflakes of your own. Here I am in my workshop, and uh, let's get started and make some paper snowflakes. What do you need to make a, a paper snowflake? Well, you need paper, and uh, this is 16-pound uh, typing paper. Then you need uh, a pair of scissors, and you can make lots of nice snowflakes just using a nice pair of scissors. Keep them sharp. Here's uh, a staple gun. Uh, stapling the folded paper keeps it from slipping around. Here are some little electrician screwdrivers uh, for punching out the design. Here is a little gouge for making little curved cuts. After making the cuts with the uh, gouge, I sometimes go through with this X-Acto knife and smooth the edges. Here are some punches for making different sized holes. Here are some uh, nail sets for punching holes, a hammer, and a block of hardwood. The most important thing to learn uh, in order to make a paper snowflake is how to fold the paper. There is no alternative to the first step, which is to fold the paper in two. Turn the paper, fold it in two again. We have now divided the paper into four parts. Select the one corner where the folds cross in the center. From there, I try to fold the paper into thirds. I fold this across about halfway. I'm looking at this angle and this angle and trying to make them about the same. Don't crease it too hard so that you can move it if you need to. Turn the paper over and fold it back all the way to the opposite edge. Okay, so you've folded it into thirds. Now this part is just excess up here, so I cut that off. The first 
snowflake with a picture in it that I made was of a Christmas tree. So I always start with a Christmas tree. This is the center of the, of the snowflake. This is the point and this is in between the points. We will make the top of the Christmas tree up here. And we will make the pot that the Christmas tree fits into down here trunk. Once you have drawn this, cut along the lines. I use the lines as just kind of a general guide. With a simple design like this, uh, you don't really need to draw it. You can just go for it, cut it. As the designs get more complicated, it's necessary to do some drawing. We have half the Christmas tree. Now when you open this, take the time to fold each crease backwards. Just a little bit so it stays open. Okay, you open it up and you have more than just six Christmas trees. You have a snowflake. Now let's review how to make a Christmas tree snowflake. First, fold your paper in quarters, then in thirds. Cut off the top excess. Draw your Christmas tree on the paper. Cut along the lines. Then carefully unfold your Christmas tree. And now you've made a snowflake. The best place to put up your snowflakes is in the window because you can see them in three different ways. If the light is shining on them, you see them as white against the dark. If the light is behind the snowflake, you see it as dark against the light. If the sun is shining directly on the, the, the snowflake, the light will diffract and it will light up. Let's make another Christmas tree, but we're going to decorate it this time. And this will give me the opportunity to show you some of the tools that I use in cutting the more fancy snowflakes. Okay, again, we have a, uh, a Christmas tree. And now I'm going to uh, put some ornaments on it. I'm going to put a candy cane right here. And we'll put some balls on the Christmas tree. Different sizes. What I use to cut out uh, these kinds of interior designs are little chisels. These are jeweler's screwdrivers, which you can get at hardware stores, and I sharpen them on a stone. They're pretty sharp even without doing that, but you sharpen them on a stone. And then this is mat board. I have lots of scraps of mat board for mounting my snowflakes. And then I just punch out the design using this little screwdriver. This is a, a little wood gouge. It has a curve to it. For going around the curve here, we'll use that. I sometimes take an X-Acto and go back and smooth out some of these rough edges here. Then I use my punches of different sizes. One can make smaller holes with nail sets against the block of wood.
let's cut out the rest of the tree now and see what it looks like. I give several demonstrations during the paper snowflake season and um, sometimes I show a few slides and always I show people how to do it and uh, people seem to enjoy it. Again, I have uh, folded some paper here and cut the top off. And for this, we are going to make a snowman. And he's going to have a board sticking out of the side for an arm. And that arm, we want to go across the fold into the next triangle. There's his top hat and his head and his body. And he's going to have a, an arm sticking straight out here from perpendicular to this edge. There's the, there's the board sticking out. The rest of the snowman. Put a little face on here so you can see a little better. There's the snowman with the arm sticking straight out. Note that the board does not droop down to make a right angle with this edge. It comes, makes a right angle with the long axis of the point. It comes straight out this way. Now we want that arm to cross this fold. And to do that, I open up the paper like this and continue the drawing across the fold, like that. Now if we fold it back together and cut all the lines, we will cut the arm off. So we have to imagine that there will be another snowman coming up this point. His arm will be coming out perpendicular to this edge and it will cross exactly at that fold right there. So when we cut, we will cut up, down, back, and stop right there. That will be right here. Up, down, back, and stop. When we cut it, we have to put all the folds back together so the cuts go through all the layers. This is what you see on this side and this is what you see on this side. I cut the back first. down to there and stop. So you can see what we've done here. We've cut that out and it stops right there. Then I just finish cutting out the rest of the design on this side. Okay, now I cut right up along here. And when we come to that point right there, this drops off. Put a few punches in here for the eye and mouth. And we'll use our little curved gouge to put a carrot nose in. Okay, now we're ready to unfold the snowflake. You can see we have half of a snowman. And kind of a funny looking snowman with his arms up like that. 
and you can already see that the arms are going to cross. Okay, here's our snowman with the arms crossing. You can make anything as simple or as complicated as you want. You can make just a very simple, pretty design, or you can uh, try to uh, explore the, the mindset in the Western world. Uh, I mean, it's a spectrum. To me, the, the most important part of it is creating different images and designs. When I started out, I started out making holiday snowflakes and uh, uh, it just kept on going uh, uh, year round and in fact my first show of paper snowflakes was called A Hundred Holiday Snowflakes. Uh, and then since then, uh, I have gotten into uh, themes. The first theme that I got into was, again, uh, Christmas related, uh, namely uh, an illustration of the night before Christmas. And that remains my most popular series. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight oh, tiny oh, oh, reindeer. Oh, oh, oh. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Oh, 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 oh. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. No Dasher! No Dancer! No Prancer! And Vixen! On Comet! On Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, 
and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. The last three shows that I have have been of uh, biblical themes. For me, making these snowflakes actually is an avenue into meaning. I find the Bible stories rather hard to read on my own and it's been a way for me to get into the stories. I have some ideas about what, what's going on and I get these pictures and, and uh, I make the snowflakes and I get them all laid out and then I start to understand the story. This is the story of those events surrounding the birth of a child named Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And Joseph, taking his espoused wife Mary, who was great with child, also went up from Galilee to Bethlehem, the city of his ancestors. As they came to the city, it was already late in the day. There was no room for them at the inn. And as the time had come that Mary should be delivered, a place was made for them in the barn. There she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And in that region, there were shepherds in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy. For to you is born this day in Bethlehem a Savior. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with the angel, there was a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels departed into heaven, the shepherds said, Let us go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has happened. And the shepherds went and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe and they reported what the angel had made known to them about this child. And Mary remembered these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned to the field, praising God for all they had heard and seen. Also, there were wise men from the east who saw his star and said, let us go and worship this newborn king. And the star went before them till it stood over the place where the child was. And they brought him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said to him, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt, for Herod the king is about to search for the child to destroy him. And Joseph did as the angel said, and they all escaped to the land of Egypt. When Herod died, Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus went safely home to Galilee. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration of how to make snowflakes. And now I hope you enjoy uh, making some snowflakes of your own. Dr. Snowflake has over 10 books of snowflakes. The themes of the books range from nature to Christmas to biblical themes in books like Exodus and the Gospel of Mark. To order this video or any of Dr. Snowflake's books, 
Call Heart Entertainment at 734-973-6010 and have a blessed and Merry Christmas with lots of beautiful snowflakes.